Hey folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of our nutso Hearts of Iron 4 run as Free Canada! Uh, where we decided that we were bored of waiting for the, um, world to invite us to the war. <laughs> so we declared war on the Axis. It's Canada versus the Axis. We've got 33 divisions. Germany's got, uh, maybe as many as, you know, 1100. <laughs> we're fine. It's fine. Shut up, everything is okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so short-term plan here. We've gone, we've, we went and threw like, you know, 13 dudes in a dinghy and uh, had them row across the Atlantic and we invaded nationalist Spain and, and took a bunch of that, which is great and lovely. Certainly we were not going to be able to hold it once the bulk of the Axis forces turned their attention to us, but that's okay. We might be able to delay a little in the hills. Uh, I'm not super convinced. Where's my actual, um, there we go. Where's my armored command? team here because I would quite like to be able to use this to maybe see if we can't pull off some encirclement stuff um, and bop off a few dudes. I don't like the idea of leaving Barcelona. I'm trying to decide if I want to, I guess I'll um, assist over here, but then if I can get a bit of a cutoff on this guy, that would actually be quite lovely. So we're going to move here, just generally speaking now, we have to make sure we don't get cut off over here. In fact, I may want to um, pull back on this front, like abandon these French holdings. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do this. And then it'd be nice if I could draw across that thing. But that's going to be fine. So these guys are just going to go and back off over here. Because my plan is when things get too hairy, we're going to uh, retreat over to Gibraltar and then hop into, um, into Africa. And then just start clearing this. Because actually, there was some good pushback happening over here in general. We should be able to do that. Make sure to keep denying them any oil. I mean, they don't have any of this over here, which is good. Turkey is part of the Axis, it's worth noting. So if we go and clear this up and then go over here, first of all, we'll have... Um, yeah, all of Africa will be held by the Allies. Of which I'm not a part, but, you know, it's still helpful. Um, and then we can help push into Turkey over here. So we've got our own separately declared war going on, but we are still going to be helping out the allies in a variety of different ways. So that's going to be the uh, the plan. Hopefully at some point, Japan will actually declare war on the US or the US, which actually has a war justification against um, Germany. Hopefully at some point something will happen. I, I don't have a whole lot of faith. Um, I suppose I could leave the faction. So this would disband this faction and may, well, I assume the faction would be disbanded after the US is the only one, but I'm not actually entirely sure. Um, and maybe they, they could join the allies and do that. But no, we're going to keep going as is, because what could possibly go wrong? I am continuing to bank my uh, political power just for a little bit, because we need to make sure to get commit to the war. And one of the others, I think IF Day over here, to be able to get a much higher um, um, manpower limit. Um, and with the African campaign, I was going to go and start training a bunch of garrison units, because you generally just need like lots of very thin divisions to go and take Europe. But the thing is, it's all... It, none of this is being held by the um, by the Axis over here, which is kind of interesting. Um, if we're going to do anything, if we are going to uh, indeed have a campaign in Turkey, what we're going to want are um, mountain divisions. So we may look into unlocking that relatively soon. There's a national idea we can take as well for um, um, words. For uh, I'm going to pull you guys back here, just like ASAP. Pull back to over here as quickly as can um, to get a tech boost to Mountaineers. So we're going to have some low supply things. That is certainly to be expected. We'll just pull back over here. We should actually should get a trickle in a supply over here as we do repair some of the infrastructure, which may may not be actually, you know, our priority. We actually might even want to dump some of this over to someone else. Well, if we were, if this were all a faction thing, I might dump control of this to the UK. But since we're set in separate factions, technically, I may not. Also, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and delete some of these ugly, ugly fronts over here, like so. And... It's kind of annoying. I th I'm going to go and reassign everyone to this front, but... Ugh. Yeah, what it's going to do is abandon some of these attacks, which is not what I'm hoping for. I guess you can just restart it, though, right? You attack... And then you assist, and you assist. 
There we go. 20 divisions on this line, which is going to be fine. Maybe something like that. You definitely have to be very careful about overextension. And we were already so thin over here. Well, that's all right. A little army experience. Um, what do we have in the bank here? We do have some extra artillery. I'm not sure. We have some supply equipment and stuff, too. Um, we're going to get an engineering company. And then, yeah, that's it. And we have plenty in storage. I do want this for a little bit more digging. Help us hold the line a little bit better. We've got some resistance going on in Madrid. Uh, this guy, these guys could actually pinch us off quite a bit. Where'd my, my extra guy go? Did one of these, like, move away? I think that's exactly what happened, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm worried about this guy pinching me off over here. Hmm. Also, I would like you to take the airfield. Okay, well, if he's going to move back, that's going to be fine. We'd be perfectly fine just pushing them basically to the hills. Okay, so now I'm not worried about being choked off the same way. Am I interested in extending our border? I suppose. I realize that tanks going through mountains isn't ideal. But if we can gain control over the mountainous terrain and then make that a front line, that would be handy. Let's get everyone over here to move up like so. I'm not going to attack the guys in the mountain, though. That would be bad. Over here, we're in a little bit of trouble. I don't suppose you can go and assist over there. Oh, we might be able to hold it. Looks like we are, actually. So let me just halt. There we go. And everyone's going to go and reorganize. Um, now, these dudes, my fast tanks, don't move very quickly in the mountains. Uh, I wonder if we're going to start the attack there or not. we be attacking the flat ground. It might not be the worst. Sucks that these are just garrison-type troops. I wonder if there's another run I could do here. If I, had another, if I had another light tank division over here with a lot of speed, I might be able to just do a big cutoff. I'm going to send you here. It might be a bit of a suicide mission, but at least you're only a garrison troop. Oh, there we go. A little bit of isolation. Um, I'm going to get you... Do that, and then you will assist... Oh, you can't actually assist from there. How to make sure we don't get cut off in our own bulge here. Oh, Haiti was invited! Yeah, we still need America to, like, start some shit. Or we need Japan to D-Day America or something. Oops. Didn't realize I had so many things selected. Yeah, it's okay. And yeah, attacking to the mountains here is far from great. This attack probably won't succeed, but it'll stop... Oh, actually it will. That's kind of interesting. Looks like we're not going to pinch them off here after all. But we're taking control over more mountains. Okay, this is going to be the hard German pushback here. Troops aren't better dispersed. Like, why is no one here? I mean, it might be fine, but I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, there's way too much stuff. Okay. Just halt then. I don't want you to run out of anything. Oh, that's... 
All right, this might be workable. Again, we don't we don't have a presence up here. I don't want to stretch the line out. I'd kind of um, like I could draw a fallback line. I'm fine with sitting in Bordeaux. Sitting in Bordeaux would actually be very good. What I'm gonna do, baby, is I'm gonna take you. Okay, that's a creative route that you're taking to get there. Um, I'm gonna take you out. Well, there's already someone in Bordeaux. Maybe you're fine. That's Norwegian troops sitting there. Okay, we'll just have to keep an eye open over here to be able to, to turn around and defend. We have to do a lot with a lot less, is what we're aiming for over here. They're gonna push up over here, which I guess we're just gonna have to eat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not convinced anything can be done to prevent that. Well, I suppose this guy should maybe pull back over here. Abandon that province, if nothing else. We're not interested in taking Toulouse, not with this. Now, maybe I'll take the Armored Division out. That way it's not going to use this for any specific defenses. If you can... No, not that way. Come around this way. And see if you can take Toulouse. And maybe even run something like that. It looks like someone's moving in there, though. So it seems unlikely. But yeah, I'll keep the Armored Division separate. And see if I can manually figure something out with them. Yeah, someone's definitely moving into there now. So... probably suicide. I'm not necessarily going to complete this. I just sort of want to see what's going to happen. Plus, short term, it reinforces this spot here. Okay. See if we can't hold this line. And I'm hoping that the UK is still doing something. There's some fighting going here. There's another landing over there. I don't know. Situation in Africa. Ooh, no German Reich over there. I mean, at some point, I definitely want to get involved in Africa. dug in in the mountains. Um, I guess I'll do the offensive line plan, which is going to be to consider pushing there, but I'm not going to hit go or anything like that. We just maybe charge up a little bit of prep bonus. Meanwhile, my tanks, I suspect that's going to get blocked there. Yeah, so just halt. This is moving forward here. No, tank. That's fine. Yeah, because crossing into enemy territory takes a while, so they tend to be able to counter whatever is going on. So I don't think we'll be able to do that. Anyway, we've got our commit to war, which is going to give us more manpower, which is great. And now we're going to start going down here. Still holding for now. And I mean, we will be able to hold with fewer troops because defender's advantage. But when you combine in the air and superior just overall technology that we're likely to face, we are definitely going to hit a limit. Being said, I think I'm going to add you back into the uh, teal army over here. I just get you to sit tight. We're not planning any kind of advance. Trying to hold this. We're going to try to get Max Diggin. Um, the... Now that we have more manpower, actually, I think I'm going to convert more of these garrisons do a couple at a time into infantry. Wow, you need a lot of manpower for that. Okay, one then into infantry. How come? Okay, hold on. I'm confused. This needs 5,000 manpower. To do two of them needed 30,000. Oh, maybe I had more things selected and I didn't realize it. Okay, we need 11,000 manpower to do a couple of these. Okay. Good. Do that. And then we'll just wait a tick. These guys have to trickle in. We have to make sure we don't overload this. But these new infantry divisions have um, engineer companies as well for dig-in, which is going to be really nice. Concentrated industry is done. Uh, we do need to get the rest of this construction queue, that's for sure. It's very high priority. Looks like our supply is mostly working out. The, the mountains are always going to be a bit of a problem. So yeah, I'm not, I don't think there's going to be any real opportunities for us to push forward. And hopefully, 
Yeah, Belgium and French Commune over here will hold Bordeaux. If they move back and are, expose our flanks, it's going to be bad. Anti-tank rifles will almost certainly be very handy. I don't know if we're going to move up to the Ram Kangaroo right now, because we're not really using the motorized stuff yet, or the mechanized stuff yet. Um... I think I'll just hard research this, because we'll get a discounted one later on as well, and for the next level up. So, I mean, eventually we'll take uh, advantage of it. I'm pretty sure there's a specialist group here. Rocky Mountain, yeah. There's just one time. So we'll take the one, we'll use the one-time bonus at some point, regardless. So that's going to be okay. So we'll just keep sort of holding this, and hopefully there's some good fighting going on on some other fronts that are causing the Germans some problems. The Germans with their insanely huge counts of stuffs. And yeah, what's happening now is we're mostly just getting a whole lot of digging. Great. Boom, done. Okay, no more, because that's actually going to really stress our manpower to the limit. But we've got more people with engineering divisions. We've got more artillery over here. This line can be held surprisingly well unless the Germans move in with a crap ton of stuff. Although the air combat's going to be kind of frustrating. But other than that, we're okay. We also don't have our flank defended, but, you know, again, we're hoping that, I don't know. God damn it, America, get in this war. We need you. Meanwhile, how is... I didn't want to draw anything. I just wanted to double-click on you. So you're still moving. Slowly. The weird way around the world to get here. But I guess you'll get here eventually, so... Sure. Just like that, there's no combat. I mean, we might be able to push in a few places. Probably not, because they're going to be just as dug in. There's some rough terrain over here. I'm okay with just holding this at this point. Now, this cavalry militia, we're going to want to add... Um, oh, we don't have MP units. But we might want a couple of these guys to go and just hold over here. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do is just train... Say a trio of these cavalry militia. We'll get them to spawn in, say, Nova Scotia. Like that. Actually, maybe I'll, um, can I clear? There we go. Because I want to get prompted when you're ready. Because then I'll remember to move them. And then we'll get them to position over here, assuming we're still holding any of this. Alright, we're going to hold this line for now. We've got a beachhead in Europe. We've liberated a little bit of France. Uh, looks like, I think France is losing a little bit over here again. I have no idea what the UK is up to. There's a river here. This is actually an, an area that's a little bit vulnerable to a counterattack if they come in through here. Because it is, it's hills at least, which is good. There's not another river crossing. Here there's mountains, here there's a river crossing, which is good. I guess hills is pretty good too. And again, if we have to fall back, we will fall back to the mountains here. Hopefully as quickly as possible. Yeah, stuff is being sabotaged over here, which is going to be annoying. Um, Italian stuff. Hopefully the allies are doing okay over here. I'm starting to think that I'm just going to land you... You know what? Let's do that. Whatever your orders were. Tell you to do this. Spearhead to this. So you will properly take all of those. Yeah, do that. I'll give you some sort of commander. And get you to wait. Now where are you going? That's interesting. Why are you going to do that? And probably reload on the boats after or something. Alright, well we'll let you be on autopilot, that's fine. Over here, totally nothing happening anymore. It's like the, the phony, the phony counterattack. That's alright. We've got our planes here, 22 bombers. We did lose a couple. At some point, but we're still running some missions over the Bay of Biscay, trying to strike ships and ports that might be there. Doesn't look like there's very many. 
And actually, uh, I don't know, there's still one port controlled by the Axis here. But there's not a lot of opportunity for them to be doing stuff. We might want to... I don't know what we might decide to do otherwise with our ships. UK controls the Balearic. That's good. Yeah, we'll have to see. Are you, like, starting out again? You are starting out again. I think you had to reset at, like, the closest friendly base because there was some confusion. But luckily, with no Axis controlled ports over here, there's really unlikely to be any ships along the way, which is nice to see. Low manpower. I know we're actually out of manpower, but can't change my laws yet. We're working on it. But yeah, I may have um, overcommitted on a few too many things along the way. We need these at 20, I think, before we can deploy them. So we'll look into that soon. All right, they're testing our defenses here and there, but uh, we should be able to hold with gusto. This is interesting, again, that they've sort of pulled back here. Do I want to try something weird with the tank? I don't think so. Although, I mean, they must have troops in La Rochelle, right? I'm going to go and move my tank over here and just see what happens. Yeah, and it's nice and fast. Going to mean some redeployment. I assume once we get here... Go back to the front over here. I assume there's a bunch of dudes, and there are. And I don't want to move my line to the other side of the beach, because they can attack from multiple angles, ignoring the river, and that would be really unpleasant. There's some fighting happening over here. Actually, I think our front line moved a little bit, too. just says one. Where's the rest? Okay, so some of you are going this way. Well, that's good to see. It does take a long time to reposition things, but if we can get more of these ports, again, deny a lot more control of the Mediterranean, cut off some oil for some new uh, unit production. We can't starve out existing units. I would really like to take this spot. So why don't we? Oh, yeah, it would make a huge difference. Because then we could position ourselves across the river. We free up another airport, although it doesn't have any airplanes in it right now. I'm move one extra dude to be idle over here in case they decide to counterattack there. There we go. Looks like we're going to be able to take that airport and advance against the river here. Fantastic. I mean, it goes to France, but that's okay. And then we've got our new front line. Again, I haven't initialized this order, and I'm unlikely to do so. I want to keep my people just max digging um, and not losing organization to an attack is what I'm looking for. Our people should redeploy here. I haven't yet, which is interesting. Let's see if I can, like, manually move an infantry here. And the tank can always go and quickly reach places to reinforce. See, we've got an attack going on over here. Should we join in on that? Seems a little suicidal. But... Yeah, because that's only a single Australian or UK division. Well, that's not the UK flag. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen, so I'm going to halt. I don't want to lose all my organization over here. And then get counterattacked. That would be really devastating. Alright, we are finally landing here. Good! Now, it is desert and mountains and all kinds of miserableness. Our supply is going to be pretty crummy. Uh, until we, Especially until we supply or grab our own ports. Actually, I don't know if it'll matter, I guess. And the movement here is going to be really slow. But we'll see what we can do. These are just garrison troops, which is really what I want to have fighting in Australia or in Africa, because the um, they're such light divisions, and they can be spread thin. They don't need as much supply. That's going to be okay. Do we want to go and assault here? It means a river crossing. Not sure what it gains us. What well, what it gains us is actually a much thinner front line. 
even though it's not... It's still hills. It's not quite as defensible, but it does gain us a much thinner front line. Because instead of three provinces, we've got one province to secure. Alright, great. Then over here again, we're not going to be outflanked. But, oh, they did take enough territory there, which is actually interesting because what it does is it extends the front line such that I can now comfortably keep some units in Bordeaux and everything too, and that's kind of okay. Alright, we advance there. Lovely. Um, I'm going to halt you and see where you're going to end up going. Let's go, wherever you go is fine. Very good. So, we still need that province. So, if we attack Toulouse, we could attack from three fronts. Attacking into the city is hard. Urban terrain has huge defenses. And there's a river crossing. Not for all the units. Uh, that's interesting. Now, we went before the tank left, but... I'm not sure that that's a problem. Holding Toulouse is going to be very easy make sure to halt the garrison unit. Holding to lose is going to be a lot easier than some of the others. Even though it means crossing the river. And actually, we've advanced past the river in several places. You know, this is going shockingly well, and I don't understand why. I'll move you to a new theater here. Oops. keep thinking that's the rename button, but no, it's the gear, then here. Africa. Done. Uh, what I want to do is deploy these cavalry here. Even though I don't have any manpower. I'm going to deploy you to there. Um, and deploy now. And I'm going to take you. Um, and I guess we'll have you be part of an army in the counterattack. I'm going to make you um, kind of like gray. For my garrison. And so you're going to get a garrison tool. And I love these the new buttons that will come up. So it's around Madrid. So over here, your job is just to attempt to lower resistance. That's it. That's your only concern. Take a look at the resistance map mode. Alright, just start in Madrid. And then we'll see about uh, expanding your deployment. So we're holding... Um, we're holding Toulouse over here now. Any chance I could push through here? That would extend my... That Baldur line a lot. Could uh, provide a bit of a cutoff but I'm not sure that that's really in the cards. Still, I think this is a good place to put in a cut. I can't believe we're actually continuing to push here, which seems a wee bit odd, but it is happening. Um, and meanwhile, we're gonna see what kind of additional pushing we can have happen in Africa over here. I, I have no idea where the German forces are actually positioned. They have pushed back any little incursions over here, so that might be a lot of what's going on. We'll see. They've pushed back a lot of this stuff, too. There could be a high density of UK troops or something over here. I don't know. How many troops do the UK have, do we figure? Divisions. A hundred divisions. Versus, again, maybe over a thousand German divisions. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about here. See you next time, folks.